Okay, explain what we're doing here for um, the camera. We're attempting to wash a cat out for PO420 code. Okay, PO420, catalyst deficiency catalyst. below threshold, which is a common code. Catalytic converter's not melted down, right? No, you can still so, see through the cone in it, let's, actually. Let's see if we can see. You can't see. doubt if you can see right through it. Let's see if we can, if the camera can see it. No. Okay. Well, we can see that, you can see it's not melted inside of there. That's the thing. It's a little wet because we were, we got it wet, but, but it's not melted inside there, is it? No. Okay. And so the theory here, well, you see some videos on YouTube of people washing cats and they just say, you can wash the cat out and it'll make it work. I don't know that any of them really say why or say anything about it. They say nothing about cleared that it cleared the code either. They just say wash it and it'll work. Again. So they they don't really they haven't really tested it. They didn't no. verify. Okay, that. well, but that's what we're gonna do. So the theory here is that over time, when a cat after as a catalytic converter is working, that there are ash deposits, and that ash comes out of the engine oil uh, primarily. And so the theory behind washing this cat is to actually physically wash out that ash. You know, on the, the diesel particulate filters that are so common now since 2007, those things are prone to ash buildup as well. And there's a, actually equipment you can get to clean out a diesel particulate filter to clean that ash from that filter. Um, well. Our theory then is that the ash that is in regular gasoline engine oil can cause a very similar problem. And uh, this is a catalytic converter that came off of a 99 Honda Odyssey. And it was replaced when the Odyssey had about 185,000 miles on it. So it was pretty high mileage. Well, we're gonna wash this thing out and, and we're gonna put it back on that van. That van had another catalytic converter installed on it and has actually been running around for about a year about 12,000 miles on a new cat and the code has never come back. So we're going to wash this out, put it back on the van, and then we're going to drive that van, get the catalyst monitor to run, correct? Correct. And see if it sets a code. So tell us what you've got here in the bucket. Well, we got a five gallon bu bucket of soapy water. Okay, so let's uh, do what we're going to do here. Okay, we're gonna submerge this and this. We're gonna try to get some water up through here. Now the idea here is that that substrate within the catalytic converter is a ceramic piece and it's coated with platinum and palladium and rhodium. And if those elements are coated with a fine layer of ash, they'll never be able to come in contact with the, the HCs and the COs. So we're just pumping soap through it by dipping it up and down in the bucket like this. There's a lot of stuff I see on YouTube and a lot of it uh, is bunk. A lot of it's not true. This is one that I think has a possibility of actually working. Provided that we can actually wash enough stuff out. Right now I'm gonna reverse it. Quite often when you are when you pull one of these cats out that's set in a PO420 and you tap it on the workbench, you get ash coming out. So you'll get a little pile of ash on the workbench. So we'll just keep doing this a little bit. Okay, next step. You washed it in the bucket, Our like we just saw. And you, you, you let it sit overnight. So now we're just rinsing it now out. Now we're just rinsing it out. You know, the suds out. We're gonna rinse it until it, we don't get any more bubbles out of it. Eh, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. It's probably gonna take a while. <laughs> Watch the camera for a second. Yeah. <laughs> He's gotten that's everybody all right. wet this camera, so far. This camera can take it. Now, does it look any different down inside there? Um, it looks slightly different. It, well, it's wet. Yeah. We're wondering but, if um, we can't see through it now because... It's wet. The catalyst is swollen from No, water. It's, it's a ceramic. Is it? That's yeah. what I thought. 
Yeah, no, you just can't see through it because it's full of water. And those those passageways down through that substrate are pretty narrow. So you get a few you get a little bit of water in there and and you'll have that. So that's not that's not too surprising. So it doesn't look a lot different what what carbon residue and surface of the catalyst looks cleaner but how much we don't know no until it dries out no we don't know so once you um, get this all rinsed out then what we let it dry we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna install it in the vehicle See how long are you gonna let it dry well that's a good question <laughs> we don't know how long it would take we're probably going to use an air hose to help speed it along, though. I would say that if you just let it drip dry for 10 minutes and then just put it in, it's going to get warm. It'll in there dry if it's going to if it works. Yeah, it'll dry. But even if it doesn't work, the hot exhaust coming out, it will dry. It will dry. So if the substrate itself looks really, I mean, pretty good. I mean, as far as it's not damaged. No, it's not. Which is why we're trying this. If it was damaged, like melted, and that was setting our PO420, we wouldn't do this. There wouldn't be any point. I don't know if you can see down in there. It looks a lot cleaner. Does it? Yes. Well, if it'll focus. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, I'll look at the other side. Yeah. yeah. See where some stuff would come off of it. Yeah, it, it kind of has an appearance of, of being cleaner. Yeah. Looks looks can be deceiving over here in the sink. All this crud that you see was coming out of there. So I mean that, that can only be carbon in some form ash, or another. Ash like material or something. Yeah. Okay, so you kind of blew it out a little bit. Is it, is it ready to go on? Well, it's, uh, it's not wet on the inside anymore. Okay, I think it's probably good. Pretty sure like that. I said, it, it's, it's going to dry out real quick once you get it running. Now, do we have decent gaskets still? There's a little metal ring right here. Is it, it in looks, place? It looks to be. Okay, and then there's one on the front of there. Those should be all right. And then the, the other one is on the bench. You wanna grab that one? Yeah. The other, no. Yeah, the gasket. The gasket. Right no, that, that is the gasket, that metal ring. It's still on, it's right here. Yeah, no, that's not it. Don't worry about that. Oh. Then what was it doing on there? Uh, just going along for the ride. Okay. <laughs> all right. If, if that does end up leaking, um, I have the right gasket. And it's not that. <laughs> That's aftermarket. Now with that O2 sensor, you need to twist it up, or do what you're doing, I guess. If you just well, I don't want to twist way. it up, and then I'm going to get it up in there and then tighten it. So yeah. it's in. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, fluctuates up front quite a bit, huh? Yeah, it can. Okay, so we've got the cat in, and the engine's all warmed up. We're doing a, a temperature test on this cat, just as a preliminary test. Because if we don't see satisfactory numbers here, there's, there may not be any sense in actually going out and driving it around. So go, coming into the cat right there, we're about 550, 560. Yeah, it's moving from 540 to 560. Okay, and what do we got coming out? Six forty. 641, 644. Okay, so it's about 100 degrees hotter coming out. That's exactly what we want to see. So this is a really, really good sign, actually, that this, this process of cleaning this cat out with soapy water might work. What we're going to do now, though, is we're going to go out and drive this vehicle. It's going to go on a trip in the next couple days. And it's going to go on, a, it'll be like probably 450 miles round trip or so. Um, and we should be plenty of time for the computer to run the catalyst monitor and uh, see if the computer likes the performance of the cat. And um, we'll, uh, we'll hook a scan tool up to it, see what happens, and hopefully it, it works.
Because that would be pretty cool if it worked, wouldn't it? Yeah, so we'll see what happens. Okay, tell us now how uh, you are removing the cat. <laughs> what did you conclude? Uh, that so far that washing it out with dish soap did not fix it. Well, why not? I don't think it got any of the ash or it probably just didn't get what was permanently stuck to the substrate. Why? Uh, okay. So what happened? The um, testing. How'd the testing go? It's, it Tell works. us about that. It, it uh, catalyst inefficient inefficiency code 420 PO 420 comes back up. Um, the downstream O2 sensor is switching back and forth at a fast pace. Very rapidly. Very rapidly. Um, so the catalyst. The, the catalyst is working, but not efficient. Okay, it's working, but it's not working good enough. So the vehicle was driven about 700 miles, multiple trips with a scan tool, watching downstream O2 sensor, you know, the one that's right there in the side of the cat. So watching the downstream O2 sensor, watching everything else, the O2 or the catalyst monitor would run and it would complete setting a code for catalyst inefficiency. So, no good? Test is no good? So far, so, so far, you'd have to. We're done. We're sure <laughs> concluded. We've concluded the test. So, yeah, it doesn't work. Not in this instance. If it doesn't work in this instance, it's probably not going to work in many other instances. So, there we have it.